Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey Live Dublin 2024, together with... Owen from Glendalough, how are you? Hey, finally! Yeah. We, we, we made it work here. Brilliant. How long have you been with the brand? I've been with Glendalough about a year and eight months now, right. in total. Right, yeah, it's brilliant. It's very so fast-paced. Uh, what is your brand? What's your... I am the National Brand Ambassador for National Ireland. National Brand Ambassador yeah. for Ireland. Yeah. So I got the right person here. You did indeed, yeah. Tell us a little bit about the history of Glendalough. So Glendalough, so the man the bottle here, if you don't see him, is St. Kevin. So St. Okay. Kevin is the patron saint of Glendalough. He yeah. introduced Christianity to the area in around the 6th century. Right. He was born in a place called Kilnamana, which is near Tala, yeah. and he was a son of the High King of Leinster. After Moaz, he left his whole life of, I suppose, riches and wealth behind and became a monk. And I suppose what happened was he became an ascetic monk, which means you favour quietness and solitude. And what you, the idea really behind it is you look for devoting your whole life to God. So he set up this massive commune, which is now the monastic city in right. Gadalop, the visitor centre. So we set up in 2011 with five friends. Right. And 2011 is quite important because that actually makes us the first ever craft distillery in Ireland. Good. So what happened was all we had for a while was about two or three different styles of putching and then we had our seasonal gins and then what happened was we put all the four seasons into one bottle and that became of course Wild Botanical. Ah. And we're very famous in Ireland because we are the only distillery in Ireland with a full-time forager. Nobody else has that in Geraldine Cabinet. <laughs> That's true. It's very cool. It's a nice thing to be able to say as yeah, a brand ambassador. <laughs> And then, of course, we do our whiskies now. Right. So the one I'm holding, if you want, me, I can talk about that if you like. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I talk about it. So this is our new pot still release. Oh. Um, it's going to be in the market fairly soon. Yeah. Um, so soon, in fact, it's sitting in some of the warehouses right now. All right. And it's basically the old pot still we had was three years in bourbon, and it's a one-year finish in Irish oak. However. Show. This is a two-year finish, so oh. three bourbon and two Irish oak in there. I still have the case. You have the bottle number, you have the cask number, you yeah. have the batch number, you have the tree number. There's a tree number, yeah. I mean, even a, so, this is tree number twelve. Tree number twelve. I, that I have in the hand here. Very, we, very. Yeah, we, we in total we cut down about fourteen trees. Okay, good. And what I like to say is. You, Every tree might be a little bit different, yes. so maybe try and collect all 14, yeah, you know? All right. well, That's my sales pitch. If I can get my hands on them, yeah. I would. What's the recommended retail price in Ireland? In Ireland, it's 65 euros. 65, 65. euros. 65. Yeah. German will be cheaper, of course. Yes, of course. Very, very Our spare sacks here it's is not great. Irish. You said, how old was it? What's five it? years in total. Five years plus two years, or just three plus three, two? Three years in bourbon? Right, and then two, two years in no. Just making sure I got it right. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. It's All brilliant. right, that's brand new here. Should we talk about your other products so, as well? Yeah, of course. Yeah, which right, one do you want I'll to go just to? Grab one and you talk about this. A single cask. Oh, Calvados. I like this one. So All that's right. our Calvados cask uh, yep. whiskey. So it's a single cask. Yep. So basically, when it comes to this, we have three of them. We have a Madeira, Calvados, and Burgundy. Here you can read about the single cask yeah. information. Yeah. yeah. We have the bottle number and, and yeah. cask number in there as yes. well. So right. um, basically, the idea at its core behind our single cask so range. Madeira. Yep. And this is the... Yeah, exactly. Burgundy. All right, keep on talking. That's all right. Okay. So the deal really is core, right, right, of the single cask range is we're looking for the best grapes or wines yep. for the best casks, for the best flavor, and the best whiskey. And it's, that is simply it, right? So for example, the Calvados you showed there earlier, it's an XO. Right. Obviously, XO is six years. Calvados XOs usually refers to the more premium or high-end right. Calvados. The Burgundy we use is a Grand Cru Burgundy yeah, cask. Yeah. Of course, there's only about 30 or so appellations or vineyards that can call themselves Grand Cru. And then Madeira, we're actually using a Cantero aged Madeira cask. Oh, wow. So Cantero we refers to the large wooden beams, of course, and the rack house that hold up these casks. So the most premium or expensive Madeira fortified wines are Cantero aged. Right. It's an old practice that goes back 500 years of aging outdoors and aging in the elements. Yeah. And um, that's it at its core. So with the Calvados, the main thing you're going to get is you get a lot of you get the lovely hints of the caramel toffee butterscotch first from the yeah. ex-bourbon and then the calvados kicks in always mid palate for me now the thing is all these whiskies the single yeah. cast the dna is the same right? right all three and a half years all single grains and then they diverge at that one yeah. road yeah calvados madeira burgundy and so forth so and they're all 42 percent so all the controls are the same so it's quite cool because what I find most inter interesting is the burgundy because we've done nothing different with the distilling. We haven't changed the cut points. We haven't changed the temperatures, right. nothing like that. But the texture is different. Yeah. Oh. So it's more like marzipan texture, yeah. more like silky, well rounded, yeah. you know, really, really smooth. Um, but that's what you may usually get off that as well. Yeah. You know, that's what I really like. Yeah. But um, that's why I really, like, again, what I find mad is we've done nothing different. It's just 
the casting process is. is, is Sorry is, about is, this for a second. Because because now, of course. The, what is that? A gold medal? Double it's gold. Double gold. Uh, Actually, it's Japanese. So it's your seven-year-old Mitsunaba. Japanese. What year is that medal again? 2023. <clears throat> What year is that medal on? Uh, I'm not sure. 2023. 2023. We actually won another double gold about two weeks ago again for that. I don't think the medals have hit Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yet, yeah so the medals haven't hit us yet. Oh, good. So that's one about, I think, four double golds yeah. since it's been out. Yeah. It's quite cool. All Our right, batch two now of Mitsunara yes. is coming out quite soon. I remember your 13 year old Mitsunara. Yes. Ah, well, that was, that was heavy. It was gorgeous. Divine. Yeah. And now your batch two. Right, yeah. Very good. Batch two is coming out in the next few weeks. Right, right. Um, and then we'll have batch three coming. Okay. Very and that'll good. be even more insane. So, what happened was, right, in this, it's a six years in Bourbon, one year in Now, there is a split, all right, of first fill and second fill in Mizanara. Right. 75, 25, okay. all right? So, what happened was, Rowdy basically went back to the drawing board and decided he'll mess around with the, with the first fill and second fill again. Yeah. So, he dialed down the first fill, dialed up the second fill okay. cast on batch two. So, you might get a kind of a, there's a very peculiar nose on batch one. Ah. Peculiar being the word I like yeah, to use. Yeah. That does not exist with batch two. Right. So the thing is, it smells one way, it tastes differently. So for some people who don't, I suppose, drink whiskey regularly, they might be, you know, a little bit, whoa, don't know what, what, what is this, what is you know? This, right? Yeah. But now it's more, I suppose, kind of a well-rounded yeah. finish. And the, the, a lot of first fill, it's quite aggressive, you know, it's okay, obviously right. huge interaction. Lot of sandalwood, lot of huge, impact. Yeah. Yes, ginger. Kind of sandal with coconut yeah, in there. Coconut, well. I, yeah. yeah, I'm sometimes coconut blind. Yeah, I just don't get it. <laughs> I Even think God, I'm. I get it, but not my yeah. whiskey. Like, there's no coconut here. I think I'm yeah, coconut yeah, blind as well. Coconut here, believe me. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm the I'm same just, as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Um, I'm asking everyone, can we visit you? So we can't. The distillery itself right. is just uh, basically um, production facility. Right. So you can't really. Right. Um, now we are building a more purpose-based oh, distillery. Oh, that's new for me. I did not know that. No. Right, okay. Yeah. We'll have it up and running. Yeah. Hopefully in the next two years. Okay. Good. So good. that'll be a proper visitor center and a right. proper massive operation. What will the well? capacity be of the new distillery? Oh, you know? I'm, I, I'm sorry, okay. I can't tell you this. I've heard a million liters. I've heard, heard a half a million liters. I've heard hundred oh, thousand. Who knows? Uh, I don't. Want, the thing is, like, if I if I knew, I'd tell you straight away. Yeah, I'm not I trying know, to. Yeah. No yeah. Yeah. Still in the planning stage, so you haven't broken ground yet, so it's going to nope. happen. Still in planning stage, uh, yeah. How many different countries are you actually available in? 36 know? markets. 36 markets Yeah, and growing. Worldwide. And yeah. growing. Yeah. And growing, yeah. Yes. yeah. A lot of states in the U.S. have it as well. Glen Lock is a good, yeah. great um, brand there. Um, where can we find you online? www.glenlockdistillery.com okay. or you can just add me on Instagram, oh. glenlock underscore own. Get that plug in there. There get you go. Plug in there. Very, very. See, going for Instagram here. That's good. I'm just, I'm old school. So www. Fair enough. You have your handle I want to get to uh, 2,000 followers there by the end of the year. That's my mark. That's your mark. Yeah. That's your mark. Okay. Yeah. It took me like two years to do that, so that's all right. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm way behind you, so yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I'm nowhere near as good as you. <laughs> it was really interesting. I, I taught at a university. City, yeah. and they started doing, they actually had a person on staff for Instagram and social media. It's like, okay. I have more followers than you at the <laughs> university. Something's wrong here. And it's like, okay, good. But yes, follow us on Instagram as well. Yeah. Very good. Now, Irish whiskey is in a renaissance. Renaissance at the moment. Are we plateauing soon or are we still there is a bit skyrocketing? Of it. To be quite honest, like Board B, it did bring out a report there a while ago. Yep. There has been a bit of slight decline in Irish whiskey sales. Yep. Uh, that is mostly attributed to the states, right. not taking in as much. I think it's 11% decline. Okay. Now look, we now have currently 50 running distilleries. Yeah, that's amazing. 50 as of, I think, three weeks ago right. with, with McConnell's, yeah. so up north. So again, you know, people think that it might plateau, it might go up again. Now, I was just talking to uh, Megan Miller who runs Talanua Distillery. Right. Colorado, there are 100 distilleries in Colorado. Yeah. That's just one state. That's just one state. Yeah, yeah there's over 3,000 distilleries in America making that's whiskey. Meant, now, yeah. of course, much larger but geography. Still, if you take yeah. 3,000 versus 50, it's still, yeah. yeah. Still huge, yeah. yeah. But there is, like, there is a lot of room for growth. But what someone has to do, though, is dial down yeah. or double down on pushing. Right. That's so what we need to do. It's a, it is our nat natural spirit, the national drink. There could be somebody in Galloway that does it. Yeah. We have Cologne doing great yeah. stuff. We have other guys doing lots yeah. of really great stuff. But like we need to really ramp it up. Like you know, and 1661 are brilliant for Dave Mulligan is a genius. Yeah. You know, he's really. I mean, uh, will do it. Who knows? We have a we have a mountain strength machine as well. Yeah, 500 ml bottle, 55% alcoholic strength. It is 
delicious. Oh, good, yeah. good, good. Yeah. So thank you for talking about the, his, the future of Irish whiskey. No worries, thank you. Whiskey Jason here, saying all the best. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.